witnesses have told us that the police officers were shouting at this man. What then ensued was gunfire. Uh, the man was shot dead by police. One of the police officers was injured. He was taken to hospital. He's since been discharged. Now, overarching all of this is now an investigation by the Independent Police Complaints Commission. That's standard practice because uh, an officer fired a weapon. And the Independent Police Complaints Commission has told us through a statement that this shooting followed a metropolitan police operation. Now, they haven't said any more uh, about that, but th that gives us a sense that this was part of a, a larger a thing. We don't know whether the police were following this man or whether he was part of this operation, but the IPC saying this shooting followed a metropolitan police operation involving the officers who were involved in this shooting. So uh, an investigation underway. This road is still sealed off. Uh, clearly a lot for the police to do. Yes, we're still waiting to hear the official version from the Independent Police Complaints Commission, uh, the detail of exactly what happened around uh, Mark Duggan shooting on Thursday night, why he was shot, how he was shot, uh, and principally his family are, are, are leading that uh, demand for answers. But there are no or very few official answers at the moment. But I'm told, Jeremy, that uh, the police officers involved in the shooting of Mark Duggan uh, have never claimed that they were fired on. Record that, record that, record that. Record that. Yeah, get them! Yeah, get them! Get them! Get them! Get them! It's a fucking gun! Get them! It's a fucking it's a fuck gun! It's a gun! Look how he's dealing with her! It's a fucking gun! in terms of creating wars is a mind manipulation technique called problem reaction solution and it works like this and it works like this first of all you create the problem but you get someone else to be blamed for it you then report that problem through the media in the way you want it reported you get the public to react to your problem by saying something must be done, this can't go on, what are they going to do about it? And at that point, they, who have covertly created the problem and blame someone else, who glean that reaction of do something, then offer the solution to the problems they have created. <laughs> If you tell the people they have an external enemy, they'll follow you anywhere. 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 The government may actually have been behind September 11 and the September 11 attacks and the conspiracy theories in general surrounding 9-11. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem, problem reaction solution. The New World Order better stop carrying out terror attacks. We've caught them over 200 times in the last 100 years, Western governments doing this. Hitler did it, the Russians did it, the British do it. Look at America, it's turning into a police state. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Solution. And it works like this. And it works like this. With regard to 7 7, there's been a witness report in which somebody who was on one of the tube trains says that he didn't see a man with a rucksack. In fact, after the explosion, what he saw was metal pointing upward from the bottom of the carriage. That would indicate, of course, that the bomb was not carried onto the tube train, but was in fact attached underneath it. Underneath it. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction 
solution. Problem reaction solution. Pro pro problem reaction solution. Saddam Hussein has got weapons of mass destruction and he's used. His weapons of mass destruction program is active, detailed, and growing. There's no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. No doubt at all that we will find evidence of weapons of mass destruction. Dance riot, that's what they want.